show you guys what I'm up to Friday night. Uh, feeling sore everywhere, but I'm at my boy's crib, about to go out and uh, celebrate his birthday. But as you can see, I'm trying to bring you guys this video. 11 p.m. on Friday night. I just processed it. Let's see if it shows up. Should be called legs or something. But yeah, I won't bore you guys anymore, but right here. So this is what you guys just watched or will be watching or whatever. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. Enjoy the video and that's about it. Peace. Alright guys, camera's got 1%, epic fail, it's 9.20, gonna get a back training session in right now, um, and I'm gonna hit chest tomorrow. So, I had a fun ass weekend, first time I've partied at all in a while, so it was a really good time actually. I mean, ate a lot of crap, but other than that, it was awesome. So, uh, it's time to get on track and hit it hard. And uh, yeah, I got a new pre-workout, or a new intro workout set up on deck. I'll give you guys a review on it soon, but let's hit this workout. I may not get a lot of footage, because this camera's on 1%. And I'll see you guys soon, either way. Super early start to the day, guys. Gonna get a quick meal in and go train. Train back last night, and I uh, just wanna get up, train chest, and get my day started. But I'm gonna do a full day of eating because I have to do it for my nutrition class. So meal number one is gonna be, I already started eating it, 100 calorie Greek yogurt, vanilla, super good. I'm gonna make some eggs with uh, spinach and fat-free cheese. So let's do it. Now I'm going to show you a secret to make a bang and omelet. Whether you're low carb, high carb, whatever. Some of this, and of course. Again with the distribution, got to get it right. Something like that. Bam. That's the meal number one, super early, but uh, just a few hundred calories. A few hundred great calories. And then I'm gonna nap and train, and then eat. I'm doing a little supplement, supplement review today too. Wait for it. Nah. Alrighty guys, it's nice to be back, uh, finally bringing you this voiceover. I've been wanting to get this vid out to you guys all week, it's only Wednesday night, but this is Monday's chest and, uh, did I do tries or just abs, or calves, chest and calves session, and uh, the night before on Monday night, I actually trained back, so I trained back at like 9.30 and then I woke up the next morning and just got to training, so i uh, been busy since then, making this video, editing the new footage, filming class and everything, but it's all good. Finally getting this out to you, and the good news is my chest is feeling much better. I still haven't been able to go heavy, but I did put up 50 pound dumbbells for four sets of almost 20. Uh, I think I got three sets of 20, and then this last set I couldn't do it. So I have not noticed my chest getting smaller. Obviously the strength isn't there, but since I've been hitting it with volume, repetitions, and really contracting the hell out of it, I've had no problems, and I feel like my chest feels and looks better. My shoulders and elbows aren't hurting. So if anything, it was a really nice break. But uh, right after that, I got into these push-ups Again, since I did some pretty good volume of 50s, and although the pec isn't hurting in the spot, when you squeeze as hard as you can for over 100 reps, things start to get tender in general. So when I was doing the push-ups, I didn't want to take long rest periods and do as much as I could. I just kind of wanted to keep doing it since I've been doing it for a few weeks now. And uh, it's a very natural uh, movement, so why not? 
good way to get back into the bench press. But yeah, that was almost it for chest training. Or actually, that was it. I didn't want to do any cable flies or anything because I feel like it's too much like specific tension on this area of the chest. But uh, I did hit five sets of calves. It was actually really light and I didn't really get sore from it, so that was weird. But calves are hopefully going to keep growing or at least stay like that. But yeah, they're looking all right and uh, hit some tibialis raises after this. But that's it for this workout. Um, I train today shoulders and I'm going to do arms tomorrow. So you guys will see shoulders uh, as the next video and maybe the arm training as well. But that's it and stay tuned for the rest of the video. Peace guys. Thank you. Alright guys, back from the gym. Uh, chest session went well, cardio went well, chest is feeling much better. Let's get on the next meal. Meal number two. It's going to be nine ounces of this sausage. It's four ounces, four grams of fat per 18 proteins. So I figure get about 12 grams of fat and about 50 grams of protein. Going to have one wrap with it. Just going to finish this bag of spinach by the end of the day. So I'll probably have like half. And uh, that's going to be it. Maybe have some fruits with it. But I'll show you guys if I do that. done almost gonna snack on this pint of blueberries while this heats up or cooks up and uh, yeah just have the one wrap in the spinach successful doing that so that's the thing you need to remember when I say it's gonna be a little Not even parking. Let's get some beans, son. Let's do this. All right, let's see what we got for this next meal. Half a pound of chicken, uh, some green beans, and some sauce. But the chicken is gonna have one serving of this sweet Asian barbecue on it. It's eight ounces cooked. And here we've got a third of a serving of almond butter, one serving of PB2, two packets of stevia. And all we do with this is add a little bit of water and mix it up. And when you heat this up and pour it on your chicken, it's so good. Makes a nice thick sauce. I'm gonna put these beans in the uh, oven now. Let's try to broil them. All right, so you wanna microwave this like 20 seconds, give it a good stir. I like to pour it right in the center. This is what I used to do during uh, pre-contest dieting. Put all of it in the center, hold. A little ketchup on the outside for when I want it. A little mustard too. Alright guys, I encourage you to try this recipe. I'm gonna watch some YouTube before I go to class, but yeah, I'm gonna grub out now. This looks so good. What's going on guys, just leaving class right now. Um, yeah, I remember earlier today I said I wanted to do a review of Louis Marco's intro workout. Um, I'm gonna give it a couple more days of using it, but I actually did feel it in my workout today. Uh, I definitely felt a good like aggression and tunnel vision that I don't normally get unless I take like a really aggressive stimulant pre-workout. So this is a non-stim intro workout pretty much but it felt really intense um, with how I kind of got focused. So I'm gonna take it a couple more days for sure. 
and make sure I'm not like, you know, eating too close to my workout and everything so I can feel it and I'll let you guys know how it works out. But uh, yeah, I'm just a really big Louis Marco fan. Figured I would support him. It was free shipping. So uh, yeah, if you guys aren't subscribed, be aware because he is pretty dope. Peace, I'll see you the next meal. The opposite of exciting, the same exact meal I had four hours ago, five hours ago. This puts me at about 2,100 calories, so try not to go too far past that. Fire blueberry oats. Let's take a little Walden. And so I try to hear it. You wait.